Hey guys, Stinger30 here again with another review. This fella is a, um, it's a Firefox brand RC. You pick these up from Dick Smith Electronics. Um, this fella is actually in a, um, as you can see, it's in a frog racing team colour. Um, this is a one tenth scale bar jar. Um, everything you see here comes out of the box. Um, there's the um, a battery charge of this fella. It takes about four hours. I don't actually use this because it's actually got a, um, a 10 meter plug on the end of it. And I just plug the, um, the nickel metal hydride battery here it comes with. Um, I plug this fella into my Tenergy AccuCell 6 and get him charged up in no time. There's a, um, a battery cover here. It's just um, It's got two clips and a screw that screws in the bottom of it. Um, this is our transmitter. It's, um, the trim adjustments you see at the top here don't do anything. They're just there just just for it make the machine look uh, aesthetically pleasing. Um, the um, antenna screws in and out, on and off button down here, and down the bottom um, we can put up our 9 volt battery into there. Um, if we have a quick look at the front of the um, of the unit, um, you can see some uh, blue and orange springs. These are not. These springs did not come with this vehicle. We've actually changed this. Um, a friend of mine gave me a land of these off his um, micro Losi. Um, these here are the springs that actually should be in there. Now the reason we've pulled these springs out is, well, even though they look like springs, they're shaped like a spring and they, they certainly resemble a spring, um, try and push these springs together, um, best of luck. Uh, when these springs are actually fitted to the vehicle, the front end is just, it's so tight, um, if we try and uh, flex our suspension, honestly feels like it's going to snap. And that's, um, that's not a good thing at all. Um, so we've got this fella sitting here at the moment. If we press up and down the front, you can actually see the front sort of kind of works. It certainly works a lot better than what it does with the original springs. Um, but I'll pause this video in a minute and we'll actually swap these springs around so you can see see what the front end's like um, with these um, with these original springs that they actually came with. Um, if we have a quick look around the back. Um, have a bit of a look at this unit from the back. Um, this actually got, um, if you have a look at the, um, the diff on this fella, is not actually locked. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be like most um, um, toy grade RCs I've done reviews on thus far and actually be locked, but it's not. If you have a look, you know, one wheel turns forward, the other one turns backwards. It's not a bad little design. Um, I was actually impressed with this car for the first probably four goes. Um, I had a probably four goes at it and then I decided uh, I came home from work and my daughter said can we have a quick go at this and we had a quick go and we were just driving thing outside on the street playing around in a straight line and then we started getting some clunking noises from the rear diff I've actually pulled the diff apart and um, we found that there's one tooth snapped off one gear we've tried gluing the gear back together and took the thing out for, for a run last night and it only lasted for probably no more than two minutes before the gear snapped again um, so I'm going to have to do some thinking and try and figure out how we're going to get that repaired. Um, there's not much underneath this. is actually a full Lexian body here. Um, there's not much underneath it. Um, not a great deal at all. Um, so what I might do is... Um, oh, well, I've actually got to I'll quickly show you the rear suspension as well. It's sort of... It's a bit of flex there, so it actually sort of works. So you can see that. Um, I'll pause this video in a minute and we'll get the um, front spring swapped around. You can see there where the bottom of it where the battery plugs in. There's a trim adjustment too here for the front as well. It actually it actually works as well, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, actually while I'm looking at the rear rear diff assembly, um, the two these two pins, these two steel pins that come through here for the bottom of the A arms, uh, they're actually pretty tight. We've actually loosened those up a little bit. Um, try and get to the rear suspension working properly because it was just so tight out of the box. I just couldn't believe how tight this thing was. But um, I'll swap these springs around and we'll show you what the thing looks like with those original springs fitted. 